fun to come on here and compare the new iPhone XS and the Samsung Galaxy S9, Samsung's flagship for early 2018. Uh, so we're going to see if Samsung can continue to hold off uh, Apple when it comes to the technology stakes. Uh, I don't have the Note 9 because I'm not a millionaire, so you know we do have to budget. And you can see we are getting faster boot up here with the S9 still in late 2018. Oh my god. So we've got Exynos uh, processor in the S9 and uh, I think Apple A12. Uh, so we're going to see how they do compare. Both of them are stock, not modified. Uh, gone in the days where you have to modify your phone. So let's see. Uh, if there's any speed differences here, so just the basic ones, and we won't count that one. Let's go to the Play Store. So Samsung coming back here again, camera. So that wasn't fair. Let's try that again. Uh, there. Let's close this one and go. So I think that was about the same, not uh, too much difference. So have a look at your third party apps. That was Samsung again. Uh, Reddit. Uh, looks like Samsung again with that one. Someone mentioned that new iPhones tend to be quite slow because they're not optimized, but given the price, you know, you'd expect them to come out of the gate, you know, roaring when it comes to the speed. But I'm not seeing it here with the the 10s. I might redo the video in a couple of months or weeks just to, you know, make it fair when it has been upgraded but I think you can definitely see here the S9 holding its own pretty much on every app I do notice as well the S9 seems to have a better um, display still in terms of the brightness I guess it's debatable really head on probably the iPhone's better but it seems to me the uh, brightness gets a bit better on the S9 uh, this one went to the iPhone then, props where props is due, and then Injustice, so Apple again here coming with that 50% better gaming power apparently. Uh, you can really see on the games actually how much better iOS is. Absolutely no contest. But yeah, I mean, head on, as I said, uh, I think the iPhone screen does look a little bit better, but uh, noticing it like side sideways, it seems that the, the S9 has still got a very um, good screen with the HDR and all that good stuff. Uh, so the game's obviously a little bit faster here on the iPhone, which is nice to see. Let's have a look at your speed test. Performed very well, the uh, iPhone, when it came to the speed test. Last video. I'm getting these annoying pop-ups, which you should get rid of, really. Let's get the Samsung going. So Samsung's always had that alien technology, which allows for very good Wi-Fi speeds. But it looks like we have an opportunity here for the iPhone to beat Samsung. Let's 
Let's go. There you go. No contest. Amazing improvement when it comes to the Wi-Fi. Uh, maybe that extends to the reception. We'll give the Samsung a chance to answer that in a second. I wonder why it's so good. I mean, I don't see how they could have made it so good in one generation. But, you know, the S9 is quite a bargain nowadays. You can get them for, well, it depends on the model. But, you know, they are probably half the price of the iPhone. So, definitely, you know, represent good value for money. You do get a bigger display with the Plus model. Uh, which uh, you know is also quite good and also I think a better aperture with the camera 1.5 still with the Samsung uh, but the Wi-Fi it seems you can see you just can't keep up, up here with the latest iPhone unfortunately and we do like some good Wi-Fi let's have a look at the multitasking and round the video off so it's, I think the this S9 has is it six gigs of RAM or something. I can't remember to be honest. You can look it up, but I know that uh, it tends to do pretty well in terms of the multitasking nowadays. Gone are the uh, days of lag, etc. I'll never ever get used to this multitasking on the iPhone ever. A little bit juddery there on the left, uh, but you know we are getting there. And deep up, a little bit judder again. Uh, so maybe these are just you know teething problems. How do you do it? Oh, so frustrating. And let's go to the games. Let's go to the games. Very quick there on the iPhone. And another one. Injustice 2. Yeah, so again, I think the iPhone is a bit more optimized in terms of the iOS here when it comes to the games. Definitely uh, going back in there. Uh, but we are really nitpicking here, you know, both of them are going to give you a good experience when it comes to multitasking. No obvious slight reloads or anything, as you can see. Uh, so very good, you know, very good performance here from both of them. So you can see here the Samsung is still very competitive in late 2018. Uh, just falling a little bit behind when it comes to the Wi-Fi. Uh, very competitive though when it comes to the day to day performance which is very unlike Samsung usually their phones do slow down to you know a halt here uh, I think Apple is still a bit better though when it comes to the software like you know keeping it up to date I think we're running quite an older software on the Samsung you would think that they would prioritize updates for the flagship phone uh, but you don't actually get uh, you know the best kind of update experience with it. I can't even find the software. There we go. So you can see getting 8.0, which is pretty ancient now. I think we're on 9. Um, but one thing which I do like about Samsung is they make a bit more of an effort when it comes to you know the camera. Uh, still very shocking that there's no pro mode on the latest iPhone given the emphasis on it being you know one of the best iPhone cameras they produced. Uh, but you do get that with the Samsung, which uh, is pretty good, as well as a lot of Android phones. Uh, I do find the usability, there's still like issues with the usability on the iPhone, like for example, this line that appears in games and on the camera. Uh, I had no end of frustration with the previous iPhone uh, using that. Uh, but you know if you're hooked up into the iOS system, it's it's a nice upgrade. It's got good uh, battery life improvements and stuff like that uh, Personally, I'll be sticking with Android for the foreseeable future uh, So yeah, just a quick little video here. Hope you find it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers